The pressure on the central bank governor, Dr. Ernest Addison, and the management of the Bank of Ghana has simmered down after the NDC minority postponed their planned demonstration against the Bank of Ghana over the 55 billion cities loss posted in its 2022 report and also the ongoing construction of a new headquarters for the country's central bank. Well, amidst all the criticism of the central bank and its management over the losses posted, the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, in a six-page open letter to the Ghanaian populace has described as needless the attacks on the Bank of Ghana management. According to the finance minister, under the leadership of Dr. Ernest Addison, assets of the central bank has grown from some 53 billion cities to up to 126 billion cities. Revenue from 32 to 96.7 billion cities and the country's economy and GDP seen an increase from 219 billion cities to over 600 billion cities. These, according to Ken Oforiata, are evidence of the good stewardship of Dr. Ennis Addison. Citing losses from central banks from across the world, Ken Oforiata makes the argument that COVID-19 and the effect of the Russia-Ukraine war is what led the central bank in supporting government expenditure, particularly the example of the United States Central Bank, which has posted losses of up to 52 billion US dollars as at April of 2022. For the finance minister, the brazen attack on the management of the central bank in the face of all of the global challenges and the examples of other central banks posting losses is the irony of the country's current state of public discourse. He wants a national cohesion and a coming together in support of the work of the Dr. Ernest Addison-led central bank in helping pull the country out of the current economic doldrums we find ourselves in. On the ongoing construction of a new head office for the central bank, Ken Oforiata makes the argument that Ghanaians should support the BOG. He further argues that Ghana seeking to become the financial hub of Africa, even as the headquarters of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, it is necessary and important that we have a modernized infrastructure befitting of our status as a hub of African financial activities. Ken Oforiata reiterates the point that the Ghanaian economy has turned the corner and for himself and Dr. Ernest Addison, enough sacrifices have been made to see this turn. Hence, is calling for support for the central bank governor in helping to pull Ghana out of the current challenges and set it onto the path towards progress.